guys what's going on it is dylan back again with another dji mavic pro tutorial video and today i'm going to show you guys how to do a simple drone lapse or just a time lapse from your drone with the dji mavic pro So just before I start explaining things, I'm going to go ahead and push record far right red button and I'm just going to record a video file here and I am not going to move my drone at all. I have it framed up. This is uh, the perspective. This is the framing that I want for my time lapse. Um, as you can see, we have a road down there with cars going and really there might be some people outside walking. It's a pretty nice day. Hardly any wind at all, which is very advisable basically for drone flying uh in general but also if you're wanting to do a drone lapse you want your drone to be as still as it possibly can so the no wind thing definitely helps with that but as you can see we're up here at 391 feet we're below that 400 foot um uh ceiling that the faa wants us to stay under so we're good there and again just uh we got our drone flown to where we want it position we got the camera angle we want and all we're going to do is we're going to push record now as you can see top right corner um under the 90 percent sign of my battery got about 23 minutes left on my battery i don't know if i'll let it go the complete 23 minutes but i just might what we're trying to do is we're going to capture as much video as we can and then we are going to take this long video file take it into the editing video editing program of your choice in my case it happens to be adobe premiere pro and we're just going to speed ramp it or aka um really um just ramp up the speed make it a whole lot faster increase the speed uh kind of a fast forward effect if you will and that will give us our time lapse effect which will make everything go by a lot faster so we'll condense you know about a 20 minute long video into about i don't know 15 20 seconds and it'll give us that time lapse e time lapse effect so anyways i'm not going to sit here and let you guys suffer through 20 minutes of uh, uh capturing footage here so next time you guys hear from me i will have already sat here for the 20 minutes or however long i let it go and i will be with you here shortly in adobe premiere pro to show you guys how to ramp up the speed and get this drone lapse achieved in editing so here we are in adobe premiere pro and as you can see i have my 10 minute long clip i ended up recording for 10 minutes and we are just going to drag it into our timeline and guys if you are editing in final cut pro or sony vegas just understand that um, it's just the concept of basically what we're doing here so um, which I realize it's not going to be all the same exact steps because we're talking about different programs, but I'm going to show you how to do it in Adobe Premiere Pro and just think about the concept of what I'm doing and you should be able to do it in Vegas Pro um, or Final Cut Pro so or whatever you're editing in. So anyway, so as you can see, if we scrub across our timeline here, it is a 10 minute long video. So let's say that we want to speed this up and we want this whole thing, everything that happened within 10 minutes to be condensed down to 15 seconds. That will give it, that will speed it up tremendously and it'll give it kind of a time lapse look. So let's get here to about 15 seconds, which we have here. So now what you're going to do is right here in um, Adobe Premiere Pro, we have our cursor. We're going to hit R on our keyboard. When we hit R, it changes to this. Now watch it closely as I move down to the edge of this clip at the end of it, it turns a little bit. You're going to, once it changes from that to this, you're going to click and hold and you're going to pull in and, until it clicks into your 15 second mark. And then I'm going to hit V on the keyboard to go back to our regular um, cursor here. And as we scroll in to enlarge this, you can see here, that it says 4,000%, 4,001%. That's how fast we sped up this clip. So now when you move across here, the cars and everything are going to be moving tremendously faster and it's going to be looking like a time lapse. And so you'll notice as you scrub across, there's a little bit of movement in the camera. So what we're going to do to try to help with that a little bit is we're going to use warp stabilizer, which is kind of just a 
digital stabilization. So the way that we do that, okay, so first things first, after we speed this up um, to the duration that we want it, we need to right click on the clip and hit nest, then click okay. Now basically what that did was that just tells it, this is just a normal video file, it's not sped up or anything like that, that's what it's thinking, but it is sped up, but we just basically flattened it when we hit nest. So now for our digital stabilization, aka warp stabilizer, over here in the lower left, we need to hit effects. You can type in warp here, but I already have it in my favorites folder, Dylan. And here it is right here. We're just going to click and drag it on there. And then what I always do is I hit effect controls up here and I always cancel it. And on my smoothness, I change it to about 35%. And that's just a personal preference. You can play with that. And then you're going to click analyze once you get it set. There's nothing wrong with 50%. You can use it, but then it's actually going to go frame by frame, which is going to take a little time. You can see it says time remaining two minutes, and it's going, what it basically does, the warp stabilizer, is it's looking for certain points or images or, it, you know, parts in your video that are kind of similar, and as the camera moves, it's going to try to match them up via cropping in and panning out and um, rotating and all kinds of good stuff. So, so again, it's digital stabilization and sometimes it looks a little funky, but for the most part, it does a really good job. So anyways, we're going to, I'll fast forward a little bit so you guys don't have to wait. Okay. So now as you can see, we're just about 90% done. And once we do that, once it gets done, warp stabilizing seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, now it is stabilized. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to File, Export Media, and basically what we're doing now is, is we're just going to render this to make it a done um, file. So I don't know why that didn't work. File, Export Media, why? Okay, here it goes. Sorry guys, bear with me here. Okay. So now in our export settings, I always keep the format on 264. I'm going to put this on YouTube as a 1080 file. And then we'll just call it time lapse. Okay, and then we're going to hit export. And then once this all gets done, you'll have your flattened complete time lapse or drone lapse video that looks like this. <music> Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And please also, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe as I will have more DJI Mavic Pro videos upcoming in the future. This is Dylan. Enjoyed it, guys. Mm -hmm.